I'm sorry. There really isn't much more that I can do. I can try to make it as painless as possible, but we all know what the outcome is going to be. Him more than any of us. Call me if anything. Anytime. I'll be here. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Dad? Mm, yeah. Dad, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, my sweet little girl. You look like death warmed over. <laughs> look, he's talking. I needed to see that smile. Yeah, I needed to see that. Everything's gonna be okay. You need anything? Anything at all? I need Mason. I need your brother. Yes, Mason, please. Come in. How are you holding up, Mason? Fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. I've taken enough time, I've processed it all, and I'm good. Have you figured out everything that you needed? Yes. This is still what I want to do. This is my place here. It's not going to change. How's your wife feel? I don't know. Still? It is what it is, okay? It's not going to change now. Well, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I have a client for you. Okay. A personal request. Another personal request? Yeah. From the top. Is this a fucking joke? I wouldn't joke about something like this. Not to you. Well, I can't do this. You know that. I can't do this. Give it to anybody else. Mason, I can't do that. It's a personal request. I don't care! I just killed my own brother-in-law for you people. I ruined my fucking marriage! You want me not to go home and kill my father? I gotta draw the line here. I am not doing this! He only wants you. And only you. I don't know why. I don't know where things changed for him, but he wants this. And he wants you. I didn't even know he was sick. Five years, he hasn't said one word to me. And now he wants me. Now he wants this. Why? Maybe he just wants to see you before he goes. And what better way to call you to do what you do best? 
Listen, I don't know, kid. I'm only guessing. Only he and God knows. But I say it can't hurt to find out. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. There's no way around that. Get off me. Brenda, stop that. I say get the fuck off me! Brenda, stop it! Stop it, Brenda, stop it! Stop it. He's gone. I'm sorry, but he's gone. Why? Why did you do this to us? He needed help. He needed to see someone. And you took that away from him. You took that away from me. After I repeatedly asked you over and over again to find him help, to ignore what he wanted. To help me find him another doctor. You did this. You self-righteous son of a bitch. Look what you've done! No. Look at what Brenda, you've done! he trusted me! He trusted me. He needed me, okay? He was my best friend. He's my I... brother. I know. And he was also my best friend, and he begged for my help for months. So please, please just tell me what, you tell me what would you have had me do about that? Save him. I just did. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Brenda, don't. Do I never want to no, see no, no, no. you again. Brenda!
Dad, I think that you should reconsider this. There's nothing to reconsider. This is what needs to be done. I just... I don't understand why it has to be Mason. After all of these years, this is how you want to see him again? Why put that on him? Especially after what's happened between him and Brenda. He doesn't need this right now. None of us need this right now. You don't even believe in this service and now all of a sudden this is what you want? What are you thinking? I'm thinking I need my son. This is what he does. This is what I want. This is what he wants. This is the last thing. The very last thing I want, Amelia. Please don't try to change my mind. Sorry, Dad. It's all right. It's okay. Do me a favor. Check to see what time he's supposed to come and let me know. It'll put my mind at ease. No problem. What you're talking about here is cold-blooded friggin' murder. No, it's not. I'm talking about saving people from misery and from pain. I want to be the hand that can comfort them when the time comes. No, 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 what you're talking about here is you're talking about cutting off their air supply when they need it the most. No, it's not. I want to give them the chance to make their own choice instead of selfishly hooking them up to machines when they're already dead. You know this is wrong, Mason. You, you know this is wrong. This is not the way I raised you. I raised you to be a true doctor, a good man, a, not an angel of death, not a fucking sadist. A sadist? Yeah. Me? You let mom suffer and suffer. You call me a sadist? She begged you to let her go. She begged you to end her pain, but you wouldn't fucking listen. You let her life end in misery because of your selfishness. And you have the nerve to call me a sadist? The only fucking sadist in this room is you. I want you to get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my house right now! And I never want to see you ever again for the rest of my fucking life! I never want to see you either! Get out! You're fucking scumbag! Get out! Fuck you, old man. Time no see. Yeah. Too long. Come in. Still looks the same. I would have thought most of my stuff would have been moved out years ago. You're family, Mason. You always will be family. No matter how much he tried to convince himself otherwise. Now look, I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay. Or if I'm going to do the job. Is that all this is to you? A job? That's not the guy I remember debating about this years ago. Sometimes things change. Brenda? 
There is no Brenda. Not for me. You still stuck here? Have you gotten yourself out there? I got somebody. I'm not sure how serious it is, but he understands I, that I need to be here. I hope that you can meet him. Yeah, we'll see. Why did you turn your back on me? I, I get it. Why well, you had to leave him. But why did you have to leave me? Because every time I saw you, I saw Mom. Even now. And it's still really hard most of the time. It's hard for me too. Yeah, but I could live with that shame. And I needed you to forget about me. Because I think that you needed a better brother. I had nothing to offer you. I needed you. You're my brother. That's all I needed. I'm sorry, Amelia. Really, I am. Me too. Dad, wake up. Wake up, Pop. Hey. Hey, that little guy. Hey, old man. Glad you can make it. How long? Uh, How long you been sick? Too long. Not as long as your mother, though. She was tougher than me. Yeah, she was tougher than all of us. I thought you wouldn't come, just for a second, I thought. But you're here. Well, you know, I didn't think I'd be able to look Mom in the eye again when I see her. Ooh. I got into this for her, and she would really want me to be here. Uh, but I don't know why you want me here. Tell me why you want the killer you raised uh, to be the last face you see. No, you're not a killer. You're not a killer. You're my son. You're the last one who shows up after all the other healers have failed. That's how I know who you are. I know what you are. You're an angel of mercy. That's it. Angel of Mercy. Your wife will see that too. Well, she never wants to see me again. Where have I heard that line before? <laughs> you know, I heard you before. I could hear you talking before. You heard me out there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could still do that? Yeah. That's freaky shit, old man. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you say that some things change but to be honest with you i think all things change sooner or later for better or worse 
Things really couldn't be much worse right now between you and Brenda. You can only saw after this. I doubt that very much, but thank you. I don't doubt it. I don't. I see the way she looks at you. The look that Brenda gives you is a look that I've only seen from your mother. It's that look that says, it's that look that says there's nobody else, only you. Nothing on this stinking planet can get between us. Nothing. Pain and loss can't overcome that look. Dad, do you know why Josh wanted to die? Mm, no. No one told you? No. Well, two years ago, he killed a kid. A kid pulled a gun on him, and Josh didn't hesitate. But it ate away at him every day after. You know, he... He tried to drink, he tried to take therapy. Anything that you could think of to numb pain, he tried it. But didn't work, it wasn't enough, didn't matter. So finally, he came to my job. And he personally requested me. He wanted it to be me to kill him. And Brenda, she begged me not to do it. She begged me, but he was my best friend. And that I didn't want to see him suffer anymore. He was wasting away, and I didn't want to watch him do it anymore. So he signed the paper. I put a needle in his arm, and, and no more suffering. No more pain, not for him. You really believe? You really believe in what you're doing? I believe in it more than anything. I let my best friend die over it. I ignored my wife's wishes over it. So you tell me why you want it. Tell me because... Are you suffering? Are you in pain? What... What changed? Why do you need me now? I've been suffering for five years now. Losing my wife. Losing my son. I needed to see you both. And today is the day that I do that. Bob. You gotta do better than that. You know, Why? There's only... Only one friend I've ever had my entire life. And I married her. She died. I was nothing but an empty shell. Waiting for years, waiting to be with her again. She clung on and held on for so long. And the only reason she did was to hold my hand for as long as she could to feel my touch as long as she could. When she died, everything good in me died with her. My compassion, my love, my beliefs, all the political bullshit don't mean nothing. Everything in life meant nothing compared to you. Your beautiful mother. And nothing compares to my children. These are the things that I love. These are the only things in life that really matter. I believe that we will see each other again. Despite what we're doing here today. And I just can't wait any longer. Yeah. Oh. I 
need you to need you to sign something. Here. Uh, just right here. It's proof that that you're doing this voluntarily and it's what you want. Dad, mm. I'm really sorry. Mm. No, don't be sorry. I love you, okay? Well, I love you too. Good man, Mason. Good man. All right. I'm here, Amelia. I'm always gonna be here, Amelia. Hello, Mason. Hi, uh, Brenda. Can I come in? Always. <laughs> 